Disney World, the place where dreams come true. If your dream is standing in a line for three hours just to get on a 10 minute ride, for some reason today I woke up and I chose hatred. Literally the first thought in my mind when I opened my eyes this morning was, uh, Disneyland smells funny. So now I want to rant, so I hope you enjoy. To my knowledge, I'm pretty sure there is only two Disney Worlds, I hope. According to El Google here, it says 12 Disney theme parks exist, made up of six Disney resorts in North America, Europe, and Asia. Right, so let me reword that. The two Disney parks that I know about are from Florida and Paris. But as a kid, I always wanted to go to Disneyland. Of course I did. Every kid wants to do that. But unfortunately, the cards were not in my favour to do so. And thank the gods because I would have hated this experience. Because in 2017, I went with my school to Paris, and while we were in Paris, we went to Disneyland Paris, which in fairness was the best part of the trip, but that bar was very fucking low. When I heard that we were gonna be going to Disneyland, I was so fucking excited, and I think everyone else was. We are all ecstatic. And what I experienced is nowhere close to what I thought I was going to. It was a waiting game and a half, and I hate waiting. It infuriates me. If I have to wait in a line for more than like 15, 20 fucking in minutes, I'm leaving. I'm not even going to attempt to get into that shop. So this fucking place was my worst nightmare. The only thing that we got into at Disneyland without having to wait like an hour and a half in a line was Space Mountain. The lines for that were always really small for some reason. Apparently that's like one of the biggest things in the, the Florida one, but I don't know. I thought it was pretty fun. That was a pretty sick ride. Everything else in that place, you had to wait at least an hour and a half to two hours minimum to get on the fucking ride. It is hell. And then you're on the ride for sometimes five fucking minutes. For example, there was an Aerosmith ride that we all wanted to go on near the end of the day. And we waited in the line for about an hour, you know, it wasn't too bad compared to the rest of them. And after that agonizing wait for me, annoying my friends to the fucking core because how bored I was, we finally get up there. We sit into the ride. We're all excited. We're ready to rock. Sit down in my little seat. My friend sits beside me and then the safety fucking bar would not close on me. And to add salt to the fucking wound, the guy who was running the ride came over and said that I need to lay off the chicken wings. You fucking what now? This man called me fat after I waited for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand how pissed off I was? So after all that time, all that waiting, all I got was, I just got called fat. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, I did have a bit of a belly on me back then, but come on, man. Goddamn, no need for it, no need. My friend beside me was much fatter than I was, and his was working fine. I think we only went on, like, fuck, like, six rides the entire day we were there. And we were there for fuck like at least like eight nine hours we were there for the entire day and we went on six rides and most of the time we just kept going back to space mountain because that was the only one that we could fucking get on without having to you know wait our whole life away we done the hotel of horrors i don't know if that's the correct name for it but that's what i remember it as that was a lot of fun come to think of it i am struggling to even think of the other rides that i went on i think i just blocked them out of my memory and the uh, paris disneyland is not as big or as packed as uh, the florida one would be so when you're listening to me talk about these experiences multiply everything by two so now let me get back to the other thing the fucking place was packed you know of course it's packed it's fucking disneyland but like it was full of so many annoying fucking people you know what i'm talking about when i say like that family that are going around with the, the fucking the mickey mouse ears on and they look like they're having more fun than their fucking kid is their kid looks miserable and just wants to go and ride the fucking whatever the thing he's called that goes around in circles then you look to your right and you see another kid crying at the fact that goofy is running towards them at full fucking throttle while their parents are pulling them towards the danger as if they're trying to put his head into a fucking guillotine the overpriced products man it goes on and on and on the food i got a hot dog for seven fucking quid seven quid for a fucking hot dog are you joking me i'll never forget that and it was the most bland hot dog i have ever experienced in my fucking life there was no onions on it there was literally only one sauce on the fucking thing. I done everything in my power to make that hot dog as cheap as it possibly fucking could be because I didn't want to spend much money because I didn't have much and it still turned out to be seven fucking quid i am furious still oh my Fucking God. I'm on the Disney store at the moment because I was trying to find out how much stuff costs in Disneyland, but I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't find it. So the Disney store is the best I could do and I am baffled. There was this Spider-Man action figure that talks that is $14.90 and that is 47% off. It is originally 28 fucking quid and it is the worst looking Spider-Man toy I think I've ever witnessed in my existence. There's no way. Surely not. Disney store Elsa soft toy Frozen. 30% off at $18.13. That is a weird weird fucking price. The original price is $25.90. Look at this absolute abomination.
this is a scam. <laughs> this this is the biggest scam I've ever seen in my fucking life. Right, I'm gonna have the picture up on screen right now. Tell me how much you think this costs. Oh wait, like, because you're not gonna get it. Do you have your answer? Are you sure you have your answer? Okay, folks, now think about this, right? This is on a 39% discount. This motherfucker costs $16.99 for a fucking headband with glitter on it and Minnie Mouse ears. And the original asking price is 28 fucking euro. And I can only assume it's gonna be more expensive in Disneyland because what are you gonna do? Go home and buy it online? No, it's the novelty of buying it in the place. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm gonna be fucking started on the food, man. The actual like dinner and stuff. And D Disneyland Paris doesn't have any fucking fun fireworks or anything to finish the day off. So it is just a fucking horrible experience. I might sound like an absolute Grinch here, but it is honestly nothing that you would expect it to be. Especially as an adult, I don't think I'd ever go again. If I went as a child, I think I would have lost my fucking mind. I am terrible, as I said during this entire video, I am terrible at waiting in lines, I'm terrible, I'm not very patient whatsoever. But when I was younger, I was 10 times worse, so much more worse, and I didn't have the common decency to actually hide the fact that I was dying inside. So if I was being impatient, or I was uh, getting frustrated or whatever, you would fucking know about it. I was a little moany little twat, like no joke, no word of a lie, I was a fucking bitch. But I thought I'd just make this quick little video because I woke up and randomly just decided fucking violence, I guess. I have a few other videos I'm gonna record to today, but I just wanted to record this little quick one so I could get it up before I have to go out. But I know I sounded like a moany little twat, which I am, don't don't get me wrong. But in all seriousness, if you are considering going to Disneyland, don't let this video put you off. Go experience it for yourself. It's definitely something that you should experience for once. At least once is what I meant to say. And especially if you have kids, it would be a fucking great experience. Go to Florida though. Go to Florida. Do not go to Paris, go to Florida. Because I've said it once and I will say it 100 million times after this. Paris for me was the most underwhelming, most disappointing experience I've ever had. Because you hear all of this stuff and don't get me wrong, it's probably because I went with my school. That would definitely have something to do with it and I was trapped on a fucking tour bus for most of it so now that I think back on it maybe that is the fucking reason but I went there expecting it to be like the city of love and all that you see in all the romance movies you know Paris, Paris it's always you know fucking romanticised thought it was gonna be beautiful I thought the Eiffel Tower oh the Eiffel Tower was beautiful in fairness especially at night time that was great I was expecting like the canals to kind of be like Amsterdam you know like very fucking like I don't know beautiful but my god, I was wrong. I was clickbaited by the world. Literally, as we were on the bus driving towards Paris, my heart got broken. I saw the fucking entrance to the city and it looked the exact same as my hometown Dublin, which isn't very fucking clean. <laughs> there was rubbish everywhere. A few people out of my class got mugged, including myself. Well, I didn't give them money, but they tried to take my money. And we went right after the two ISIS attacks that happened in Paris. So a uh, pl place was on fucking lockdown and we still got mugged. There was literally an armed guard walking up and down the big steps. I don't know what the name of it is leading up to the Louvre or some shit. There was fucking armed policemen. Motherfuckers looked like ghostbusters walking up and down the thing and then we got mugged in broad daylight at the bottom of the stairs. You can't write this shit. So I can only imagine how bad it is over there when you are like when it's not on fucking lockdown. But we went to see Napoleon's tomb. We went there uh, to see uh, the Notre Dame as well actually. We saw that before it burnt down which was sick. I got to see the original. Fuck you guys. Obviously went to see the Eiffel Tower but when we went to see it it was kind of fucking sad. It was very 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 sad because it was pissing rain and we didn't get the chance to even you know see it properly we all needed to go to the toilet and there was only like two fucking porta potties outside the fucking eiffel tower which is outrageous now that i think about it the most famous part of your city only has two porta potties are you dumb so uh we had to commit some felonies uh yeah <laughs> unfortunately we all had to go pee in a bush it was either the bush or ourselves and we chose wisely i think we we gave back to nature i on the other hand was very scared that i was going to get arrested so i just kept walking and walking and walking until i found a spot that looked secluded enough to go for a piss and as i was urinating i just remember looking up and being like oh this is a very like thick fucking wall and then i kept looking up and looking up and looking up and then i realized i was pissing on one of the pillars of the eiffel tower which Ah, <sighs> that, that karma's gonna come back to bite me at some point. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paris people, Parasidians, I don't- Parasidians? What? 
I'm sorry to my French people, I meant no disrespect, it was an accident, I swear. And I don't know how I wasn't arrested on the spot, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it was never a city that I was, like, dreaming of going to one day or anything, but, you know, I just had expectations in my mind. It's kind of like if I went to Vegas and it was calm. It's just not what you expect, is it? <laughs> you go to Vegas and there's no clubs, you know? Like, that is literally what it felt like. There was no romance in that fucking city, bro. But yeah, I just wanted to say sorry for the lack of uploads lately. I had to take on a bit more time in work because uh, a few people were off on holidays, so I had to fill up the hours. And it has been been hot bro hot as a motherfucker my little irish fucking body can't take this man i'm used to fucking rain cold and wind bro but when it gets hot in my workplace it is like what 26 uh, around 25 to 29 degrees celsius and that is dead heat so if you know what dead heat is, like humidity and stuff like that, yeah, yeah, it's that. That we ha we have to sit sit in that for nine hours a day. So I have been absolutely fucking drained to my core when I've gotten home. So yeah, sorry about not being able to make videos. I have literally been dead. But I'm back to my usual scheduled program. I'm off for a week and all that jazz, like I have been for a while. So I'll be able to make videos and get stuff up for you all. But yeah, this is gonna be the end of this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Don't hate me too much. If you like Disney World, that's okay. I'm just having a laugh here, having a bit of fun, you know. But if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 1K by the end of 2024, and I'm going to be jumping out of a plane. If we reach that mark, and I'm going to be bringing you all along for the ride. But yeah, with that all said, it's been EXO. I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one, folks.